All right, guys, AS Farming here, and welcome to a map first look video on West Newton Farm. So this map came out today on the Mod Hub. I've been waiting for this map to come out. Uh, I've been following this map for a while now, and this is I've got two maps I've been waiting for: this and Bessie Beneath. So this um, was definitely well anticipated by me, and I'm sure by a lot of people um, waiting for this map to come out. Um, as it stands at the moment, this map is only out for PC, but I believe it is going to be coming to console in the future. Um, so that's definitely, you know, console players, you've got nothing to worry about. This is coming uh, to console as far as I'm aware. Um, but um, I haven't looked at the map at all. I've literally just loaded it in to the point like this. Um, I haven't been in the map at all and had a look around. So this is going to be very much a first look video for both of us. Um, so the map is obviously by um, NM Modding. Um, uh, they have, he's, he's, from the pictures I've seen, he's done a good job uh, on this map. It is uh, based in Ayrshire in Scotland. Um, and I believe as well... It's based like on a real area in Ayrshire in Scotland, so it's very much uh, a realistic sort of map, um, which is really good. I think as I from uh, looking at the modder's Facebook page, I think it could be based on his uncle's farm, but don't quote me on that. I think it is based on a family member's farm, um, which is obviously you know he's very much put. Um, put a lot of effort into this map and i think it is his first ever map so um but it's obviously got full season support um which is really good um a few really really cool um things on this is there's custom grass textures which obviously we'll see when we um we have a look around there's custom traffic as well which i've seen uh different pictures of vans um and whatnot as well which is really really cool um there's four farms on the map as well. There's 110 fields. Um, and I think there's a hundred of those fields have got missions on. Um, so definitely, you know, if you want to start from scratch on this map and do missions to earn money and whatnot, this is this would be a really good map to, um, to do it on. Uh, another custom thing as well is the custom transport missions, um, which is really, really cool. Um, the snow missions as well, which is another again another really cool thing. It's custom tree textures, um, which is again you know it's got some really really cool features in this map. But, you know, really really nice. Um, it's got custom lighting uh, and the sky as well. He's um, he's done custom sky on this. So the clouds are a bit more thicker rather than you know sort of a bit more scattered out. Um, I think he's uh, the sky's a bit more bluer as well which is really really cool um but um yeah really really looking forward to to playing this map and um you know getting going um playing it i am hoping to do a series on this map to run alongside bessie beneath um so definitely you know look out for this but um yeah without further ado we will hop in just where you spawn in I've gone on new farmer, um, so that is what uh, we're on currently. Um, we'll put the FPS counter up, shall we? So straight off the bat, quite a nice little area, nice views. You can walk through the hedges, which is quite cool. Um, I see the custom grass textures. They look quite nice. That's obviously not fully grown state, and this is obviously fully grown. Looks quite nice. Nice views, though. So, this is obviously our farm that we start off with, our main farm. If we have a look, quick look at the PDA. Biggest sort of map, obviously 110 fields. Um, we start off with uh, our main farm here, which has got our cows and our chickens. And then quite a few fields we start off with. Fields 1, 2, 3, 7, 8 and 38. 
I believe is what we start off with. So I'm not sure if the yard comes with the fields. Yeah, so the yard comes with fields 1, 2 and 8. And then you've got uh, the map border, which uh, includes that little forest there, which is quite good. Then you've got fields 3 and 7 together. And then there looks like another storage yard up here, which has got field 38. So um, that's quite nice. Got two cow pastures, which again, that's uh, that's very nice. Uh, we've got another cow pasture. We've got three cow pastures. So that's really really cool. It's two sheep pastures. Um, got our pig yard down here. Another sheep yard there. So we've got three sheep sheep pastures, three cow pastures. There's I think there's just the two. Uh, I say there's just the one um, uh, pig pen. And then you've got a horse yard down here. So uh, as we look around the uh, the pastures, we'll uh, we'll have a good look and see um, how many animals it holds. But nice gate to start off with. West Newton Farm. The track down here into our yards. This is our main yard. Some of these sheds as well, I think he's he's built himself. They are custom sheds. Um, he's got a workshop here. Nice workshop. Really, really nice workshop. These all obviously open up. That's nice, that is. Nice sort of Scottish feel to it. Like a typical Scottish um, workshop. Really, really nice, that. I like that. Very, very nice. Um, storage shed here with our combine. Well, I'll, I'll go through what equipment you start off with at the end of the video as well. Um, I love these gates. They're nice gates with the mesh on. I like them. But this is obviously a cow barn, which is cool. So I suppose this is sort of a um, more of a beef yard. This is, I would say, which is which is nice. I like I like that. Nice fences, really really nice. Really really nice. And then we've obviously got another cow pasture, which is across the way up the road. So we're going to have a look at that in a minute. Nice little storage sheds. Is this a... Yep, so that's, a, that's a little um, silage bunker. So that's quite nice. Obviously a storage shed here. There we go. You start off with a few seed pallets, which is nice few fertilizer pallets as well got a nice little tractor very nice nice little yard to start off with i think this map um is definitely more um animal orientated than uh uh life sorry it's more livestock orientated than arable orientated um it's obviously the, the, the main farm you start off with uh, doesn't have anywhere to tip any grain. I don't think anyway. Doesn't look like it, no. So, we've so got a fuel point here, which is good. Um, yeah, nice. Really, really nice. So, I think if we were going to go in the Vultra and have a drive about... We just take the forks off. We'll take the front loader off. Take it all off. And we will go and have a drive about. Go down here. Tight old lane. Tight, tight lane. So I think, which is the best way we go around this? If we, we're going to have a look at the cow pasture... And then if we go back and go up to the sheep yard and then again go back on ourselves 
Um, I think I'll edit a, a few of these uh, bits out just so the video isn't me driving about too much. And you can focus more on uh, the map. But yeah, I think if we go and have a look at the cow pasture down here. See what that's like. Oh, we've got a truck here. I didn't realise we've got a truck. We will take the truck. <laughs> we'll take that instead. Okay, so this is obviously where the chickens is. That's quite a nice little gate that opens. That's obviously where your chicken feed goes. That is where your um where you can buy chickens. Where do the eggs go? Um I'm not too sure where the eggs would go. That's obviously for the cows in there. Hmm. I'm not sure about that, where the eggs go. And obviously you'll soon find out when you buy them and they start producing eggs, but yeah. Not sure where the eggs spawn. That's where, that's where the chickens are anyway. Um, so yeah, we'll go and have a nosy on down here. Open reach van. I think this must be, yeah, this is our animal pasture here. This is the cow pasture. So there you go. So that's, that's where you put your animals in. That's where your water is. And I'm guessing over here is where you would put your feed in. I'm guessing. Not sure where you put your straw in. Perhaps you don't with this. Um, if I have a quick look. Uh, if I buy a cow. And then it might show up if we need to put straw in here or not. He might have edited it. Because um, I know some mappers do it. Where you don't need straw for certain pens. Uh, if I just buy a couple. And have a quick look. Silage, hay, grass, wheat or barley. Okay, that's cool. So you can feed you, your animals wheat or barley now, which is cool. Yeah, but you don't need any straw. So that's quite nice. I like how he's done that. And you've obviously got your cows roaming about. I really like that. Really, really like that. I've been waiting, to be fair... Um, but to be a thing uh, that you can, um, you know, have cattle in your pasture like that um, and feed them uh, and give them cereals as well. Because that's, you know, beef cattle in IRL, you do feed them uh, cereals. So that's really, really nice. Because most maps you play on, um, you've always got... Um, you know, that dairy farm feel to them. But this very much feels like beef farm, which is really, really nice. I really like that. So this is another animal pasture here. I'll take it this is the same. Yes, yeah, so you can put another 150 in here, which is really, really nice. Um... That's not, I think a lot of people have waited so you can have various animals in fields like that and move them about. Really, really like that. So if we go up here, we own this yard with this field next to it. Field 38. Oh no, I think we had a field at the top of it. Ah, so this is where you store your grain. So that's good. So that's where you store your grain. Um, got some nice storage. Put your combine in here if you wanted to. Store a few bales here. Very nice. And then you own this field here. Which again, decent sized field. Decent sized field. I'm really, really liking this map. Really, really liking it. That's obviously where you would load your trailers up through that pipe there. So that's cool. Really nice, really, really liking it.
Nice fields. Look at that view. Nice view. I know it's a bit blurry and there's a bit flickering, but just you know, look you look at that. Love it. Absolutely love it. I wonder if these are just for decoration or you can actually use these. Not sure. Not sure. But anyway, next door, just up the road, just up on that hill there, we've got our sheep farm. So we'll have a bit of a drive up and have a look at our sheep farm. Uh, go up here. Nice windy roads. And obviously you can drive through the hedges on this map. They are uh non uh got no collisions tractors turning if we park our truck here it's a nice storage big old shed look at that for a big shed big big shed nice workshop nice little farm this so we've got one sheep pasture which is here that holds how much does that hold 500 sheep you can get in here <laughs> that's good i would guess this is where the wool would perhaps spawn in i'm guessing i had a guess um if i buy a couple of sheep again we'll see what they need so you can feed them wheat or barley as well uh grass or hay but that'll obviously be covered by uh, the grazing mod and then water and whatnot. They look quite good there. That's where you feed them. That's where you water them. So that must be, yeah, that must be um, a wool point. That must be where you can get your wool. Um, but they look quite good. Well, I like that. There we go. This is Alton Burn Farm. A fuel point there. Plenty of storage. Spoilt for storage. This is obviously another um hmm, can't put any in there. Oh there you go. I got the point. Bit bit further in. There you go. That can hold five hundred against you can hold thousand sheep at this farm. Very, very nice. And that's obviously, again, that's your feed trough. And that's your water trough. Very nice. It'd be a nice farm, you know, if you wanted to just do a sheep farm, it'd be a nice little farm to set up at. You've got a workshop, you've got a fuel point, plenty of storage. Really nice. We've got a gap in the head so the sheep might get out. But no, I like that. And obviously, as you can see, I'm having no problems with FPS. Getting solid 60 FPS all day long. What's that up there? Have a quick look at this. Nice little storage area, perhaps. You could perhaps put some solids bales here. Or whatnot. Nice, very nice. I do see them typically, I think, in some like you IRL YouTube videos, you do see little places like this where they um they store silage bales or whatnot. Um so that's really nice. Like that. Okay, so if I ooh, wrong menu. If I make my way down to, uh, I wonder what's that there? Let's go and have a look at that farm. And then I think oh, there's a road we could go to the animal dealership. So yeah, I will either meet you at the abandoned farm barn or the animal dealer. So I will see you guys in a minute. 
So, this is the abandoned farm barn. Just a little storage shed. Um, which is quite nice. Another little storage yard, really. You could perhaps put a few bales in here or whatnot, whatever you wanted to. There's a water fill point as well, which is cool. So, yeah, that is the abandoned farm barn. I'm guessing the trigger is for the water, I would imagine. Um, so, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head on down this road and I will meet you at the animal dealership. So, uh, yeah, I will see you in a minute. So, here we are. This is the animal dealership. And it obviously doubles up as a wool sell point too. So, you can obviously sell your straw there, which is cool. Um... Just a sort of standard animal uh, dealership, which is quite nice. Um, I'm not sure where the trigger is. Yes, I'm not sure where the trigger is. Okay, so that's not a straw sell point. Ignore me. <laughs> this is where you buy your animals. This little pen here. It's not a straw sell point. That's my mistake. Yeah, sort of standard animal market. Buy your animals there. And then this is obviously a wool sell point. This is where you sell your wool. Which is cool. So, uh, we've got a forest there. If I... It's probably best if I go back up to our main farm. Then, if I go down this road and go to the horse yard... Then carry on, um, and we can go to our other sheep yard. And then if I go back up, and then across, we can then go to the pig farm, and have a look at the uh, shop. I think is the is the best plan to do. It's a bit difficult with this map because, um, obviously, when you're playing it, you know it's a great, um, you know, realistic. Uh, road network but obviously doing a first look you can't do a typical just go circle around the map you have to sort of keep going uh, back on yourself and um, and whatnot so um, but yeah I think that's what we'll do we'll go back up to the main farm go down uh, this road to our horse yard and then sort of yeah carry on like that so I think that's what um, what I would do I'll obviously cut to a few um shots of the scenery and whatnot but um yeah i will uh meet you at the horse yard So here we go, we're just coming up to our horse yard now. This is obviously a bit of a giveaway from the feed trough and the uh, water uh, trough, but this is obviously our horse pen just here, which is nice. Again, got a bit of storage to put um, bales and whatnot in, which is very nice. Got a workshop, so that's cool as well. Fuel and water point, very nice. Yeah, sort of a a typical little horse yard. Can't open that up. Can you open this one up? Nope, can't open either of them up. That would have been nice. You could put, you know, your car or whatever in there. This obviously opens up. So I'm guessing that to put the horses just here. And then I'm guessing they don't need straw either. Oh, they do, so I'm not sure where the straw point is for these. It might be the same as the uh, feed trough. Yeah, I'm not sure where you'd put um, 
put the straw for these. You would perhaps have to have a play around. See where the point is. I can't see any boxes anywhere. Um, there's nothing on the yard apart from the workshop. So it's definitely it must be in the field. It definitely must be in the field. Uh, but yeah, I'd have a play around with that. See where it might be. Uh, but yeah, this is the horse pasture anyway. You can fit a total of uh, eight horses in here. So I buy a few more. There we go. That's what it looks like full. So yeah, it's perhaps not big enough to have eight horses in. You perhaps only want three or four. Uh, but there, that is your horse yard. So if we again, if we make our way down to our woodhead cottage, which has got our third sheep pasture in. Uh, again really really nice views really stunning proper you get a scottish feel you know when a mapper says it's you know based in um wherever uh you want it to feel like it is and you most definitely get that feel with this map definitely so i think uh, hopefully i'm going the right way through the trees but again i've had no real you know no fps drops or if i had it's only been sort of five it's been nothing big we've got a little bridge apparently i think we go yeah keep going oh now a little bridge that's quite nice quite like that oh it's had a bad fps drop there whether that's just loading in the map i'm not sure Doesn't seem too bad now. Perhaps it's just loading in the map because obviously this is first time we're going around this map. So, but this is our third sheep farm. Nice looking farm. This nice looking farm. It's got again nice storage. These obviously all open up. Nice little. Uh, Areas to pack you can perhaps tip some grain in there, which is good. So obviously with it now being a thing you have to feed your sheep wheat or barley, you obviously want somewhere to store it, so that's that's nice. There you go, so this is Birch Head Farm. Even though it says Woodhead Cottage. <laughs> uh nice little storage areas. Does this open up? There you go, so that's your workshop there. Got another workshop. This must be where your wool would spawn in. Um, and I'm guessing, there you go, so that's where you put your sheep. In this gateway here. And then obviously, self-explanatory, water trough. The feed trough is, I would imagine, yeah, feed trough's just here. So that is your feed trough. You can fit a total of... Again, 500 sheep in here. So you can have 1,500 sheep on this map. Nice big shed. Can we put anything in this shed? Here we go. So again, massive, massive uh, storage sheds. That'd, be, that'd make a good uh, bale shed. Put plenty of bales in there. Or in there, you know, either one. You'd have plenty, plenty of storage. And then obviously you could put your grain in here. You've got two uh, bunkers. You could have wheat in one and you could have barley in the other. So that would uh, be quite, quite nice. Nice looking farmhouse. Very, very nice. Yeah, I like it. Very, very nice. What's this here? This is a... Let's have a quick look. Uh, okay, so I think this is a sell point. Woodhead Cottage takes... This takes eggs. So that's an egg sell point there. 
Nice little grass field. So yeah, you're not going to want too, too big of equipment on this map. Um, obviously, for the size of the fields, but also for how tight the lanes are, <laughs> you're not going to want a, um, a massive uh, class lexion coming down here or whatnot. But yeah, obviously, the last two things we've got to go have a look at. Oh, we could go head down further. That takes us to the biogas plant. And then, can we take another road? Might be a road there. We can go down and then across to the shop and then go up to our pig farm. Uh, let's just go and have a quick look. So, we, we can definitely get to the BGA down here. Um... That's the only niggle I've had with this map so far is it's so difficult to see these roads. Um, yeah, that's that's the only niggle, and I think that's the only niggle a lot of people have had with this map. Um, and they obviously where I'm not sure where you put the straw for the horses, but they're not massive, massive things. You know, it's nothing major. Um, there we go, so this is our biogas plant. That's nice, automatically opens. So yeah, that's obviously where you tip your silage. Nice as well, because you can obviously get your trailers up to that, um, or tip it in, so that's really, really good. Uh nice yeah two they're not massive but they're decent enough sized uh solid pits very very nice and walk up these yes that's cool you could to be fair if you had a shed small enough you could sort of tuck a little storage shed just in there if you wanted to place one in or even place one just here in the corner if you wanted some extra storage to perhaps, I don't know, put a forager store, store forager here or a wheel loader. Um, yeah, that's your biogas plant. I think we can make our way down the hill on this road, which is good. <clears throat> That'll make it easier for us. So this is quite a nice little uh, like mini agricultural show. There you go, that's quite cool. I like that, that's nice. That's nice, I like that. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. That is really, really nice. Little features like that, you know, bring extra uh, details to a map. All the flags move as well, which is cool. Very nice. <laughs> obviously missing the uh, seat and that whatnot out of that <laughs> but yeah no cool you know little, little features like that they make a map don't they we need to focus on the the uh, traffic because it has got custom traffic as I said on this map so right so if we keep making our way up on the right hand side we'll uh, obviously have the shop that's a dairy cell point i think and obviously a grain cell point so that's very nice here we go we'll overtake these I haven't seen too much custom traffic as of yet, um, but yeah, I, I have se I've seen pictures of it, so got a little housing estate, which is uh, cool. There we go, little housing estate, obviously newly built, so that's cool. Then you've got a little village here, which is nice. few frame drops but i think that is just in general the map loading in because obviously i haven't drove around this map yet um 
So that's all I think with that. I think that's a custom vehicle. That one there. These vans, I think, are custom. But yeah, this is our shop on the right hand side. So that's obviously a, that's a wool cell, wool that's a wood cell point just here. So that's very nice. You got your logs there. I would guess in that is where you would tip wood chips. Can't open that up. I think this is a custom made building. I think he's custom made this little co-op, which is cool. That's obviously it doubles up as a uh, a grain cell point. So that's nice. And then just over the way, we've got our new Holland dealership. There we go. So that door opens up, which is cool. Yeah, nice little dealership. I actually prefer these dealerships to the ones where they're just sort of static and you can't go in or anything. Uh, I really like that. So a new Holland dealership on this uh, on this map, and this is obviously where I'm guessing all your vehicles would spawn. Got a workshop in there. Yeah, I'm guessing the vehicles spawn here. Um, so not the biggest of dealerships uh so you want to be careful how much equipment you buy perhaps in one go um but still very nice can open and close the gate which is cool very nice where have i parked my car over here just dumped <laughs> there you go nice little village So, if we, I think it's a road just here, if we turn right, we can make our way up to, oh, I wonder if these speed cameras work. Like the ones on Sandy Bay. Let's have a test, shall we? I mean, if I kick up some more speed and go back, they might be just for decoration. Yeah, they're just for decoration. But anyway, <laughs> enough messing about. We'll go. Uh, we'll go up to our pig farm. There it is. So get up here, and then turn left. Just here. Down the track. And into our pig yard. Here we go. So Blackthorn Farm. Quality pork. Again, usual. Got a workshop. Nice amount of storage. Um, and here is our pig pen. Little pig pen. I'm not sure how much does this hold. You can fit 500 pigs in here. <laughs> in real life, you wouldn't be able to. You could fit probably 10. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you can fit 500 pigs in here, nevertheless. Um, obviously, water and feed. Straw, I'm not sure. Let's just buy a couple of pigs, see what they need. So. Pigs, they need all the usual stuff. Straw, not sure where straw goes. Um... Yeah, that's that's the only quarry I've had with this map, is the straw fill points are not that clearly marked. Huh. Look at that pig on there. <laughs> That'd be like real life, that would. Mischievous pig. I'm guessing the straw goes in the feed trough. I'm guessing. But obviously you'll have to have a bit of play around. I mean, I play maps now with seasons anyway. Um, and I probably wouldn't give my... Uh, pig straw anyway so I could get slurry um, but um, I mean if you're playing the just the normal base game and wanted obviously to give them straw it's not the clearest marked um, so yeah that's obviously something you guys are going to have to test out 
Um, and I mean, if you do find out, for people who haven't played this map yet um, and are looking to, definitely comment uh, down below if you find um, the point for filling the straw up. Um, one nice thing with this yard, what would have been quite nice, is somewhere to perhaps keep your grain. If you perhaps had a grain shed, you've obviously got you've got some nice sheds to keep bales in, um, but nowhere really to um, to what's to call it uh, to keep uh, any you know grain or whatever. So, I mean, I think if I was uh, doing this map, I'd probably end up buying pig feed, uh, so it's in pallets, so I could then store them in uh, in the sheds. Because obviously there's nowhere to store grain, um, but um, I mean there's not. Scotland isn't really a big place for producing pigs anyway. Um, IRL, you more find sheep or cattle in 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 Scotland. Um, so that's probably why he hasn't focused too much um, on. Um, on pigs um but still you know quite quite a nice little yard really um but um yeah before we end the video i'll obviously show you what equipment you start off with so this is obviously this on new farmer you've seen what yard and uh fields you uh start off with so machinery wise you've got a vulture which is 110 horsepower and a t6 which is 175 Start off with the New Holland Combine, which you've obviously seen in our truck. Uh, you've got the Coon uh, 4 meter Cedar Sprayer. You've got Mower, Tedder, Baler. Uh, you've got Mixer Wagon, Water Trailer, water, Animal Trailer, all the various um, implements for a front loader and the trailer for the New Holland. So you've got pretty much the bare minimum um of what you need to start off on a farm and obviously it gives you the map has given you um a few seed pallets and a few fertilizer pallets uh to get you going and whatnot um but um yeah i i'm impressed i i really really like this map and i'm gonna enjoy enjoy playing it this series is probably gonna be on a tuesday and a thursday is probably how i'm gonna do it um and then uh, when Bessie Beneath comes out, that'll also be uh, that'll be on a Monday, a Wednesday, and a Friday. Bessie Beneath is obviously a bigger map, um, so I'm going to obviously run it more episodes in a week. Um, I am hoping Bessie Beneath is a definite. Uh, I'm sort of going to do a realism challenge. Um, that's the be <laughs> the best name I've come up with is a realism challenge. Um, but um, I'll obviously talk about that more um, in our first episode on this map but um, nevertheless I hope you have enjoyed uh, this first look video on West Newton Farm if you have please remember to hit that like button uh, and subscribe if you're new to the channel and I will see you all in the next video thank you very much for watching bye guys